in the marmalade forest, forest between the make-believe trees in a cottage cheese cottage lives Alby, 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 the racist dragon. Part six. And so all the people of the village chased Albie, the racist dragon, into a very cold, very scary cave. And it was so cold and scary in there that Albie began to cry dragon tears, which as we all know turn into jelly beans. <laughs> anyway, just at that moment, he felt a tiny little hand upon his tail. He turned around and who should that hand belong to but the badly burnt Albanian boy. <laughs> What are you doing here? I thought I killed you, growled Albie quite racistly. <laughs> no, you didn't kill me, Albie. I was just very badly burnt. I crawled to safety and I'm still alive, although I'm very badly disfigured, laughed the boy. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm crying because all the villagers chased me here. I think it's because I'm so racist. <laughs> no, Albie, they chased me here too. It's just because we, you and I, we're different. <laughs> and suddenly Albie wasn't racist anymore. <laughs> so they sat in the cave, the cave. and they ate bubblegum pie. Yum! Yum. Albie, the racist, well not anymore, dragon. <laughs>